Hey everyone, James with Lenspiration here, your source for family-friendly photography education. Today, the photo assignment is beautiful scenery. And because I'm not seeing much beautiful scenery out there, I think I'm going to go on my computer and find some. So I'm going to open up Lightroom and look through all my archives. See if I can find some pictures that relate to... Isaiah 55, for as the heavens are higher than the earth. So I'm thinking like, let's search for sky, maybe? Ooh, here's a pretty picture. I really like that. That's a nice sunset. And look at this here. We have a horizontal version of it. That's really handy. You know what? This is kind of not fair. Uh, I've taken pictures for like over 10 years of sunsets and sunrises. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit myself. I'm going to tie my hands behind my back. This should be interesting. I'm going to search only for pictures that I took. How about pictures that I took with my very first camera? How'd that sound? The 20D was the very first camera I ever used. So uh, now let's search sky pictures 20D. Only 128 pictures that have the word sky in it. Oh, this is really pretty. Look at this. Okay. That could work. Sky pictures. This might work. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the collection because we might use this. Sunrise. Let's search sunrise. I probably keyworded more pictures with the word sunrise in it. Ha ha, look at this. Oh, only 185 pictures with the 20D. Hmm. So there's a sunrise, but I don't think it to be absolute that fantastic, you know? It's just kind of a bland. Here we go. I mean, that's a nice color. There, oh, as you can see, some of the... Er, some of the um, pictures are missing. Like, there's no previews. I'm going to have to go find my hard drive and plug that in to get the real previews. I've got so many hard drives you could play Jenga with them. Let's search Sunset. And it looks like there are 305 pictures that have the word Sunset associated with it. Ooh, here we go. Here's a really nice picture. You just got some work that would need to be done on this picture. I'm going to throw that in just because um, the heavens are higher than the earth. Here's some clouds coming through. But this is interesting. That's more like attention on the heavens, right? That could really work. Let's see if we can find one that has more of the heavens, a more simple. I'm going to throw this one in. It's got the little bird flying overhead. Kind of got the heaven... Um, feeling, and just a bunch of sunsets. Okay, great. So that's the first one. I think I've got a few, I think I've got a few options for sun, for heavens higher than the earth. At least, throw at least one or two of them up. Now the next verse is, for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not hither, but watereth the earth. Okay, so let's look for, I'm still searching only for my 20D. Uh, Let's see, um, water, maybe? Let's, let's, let's do a search for any picture that has water associated with it that is in the file name or in the folder name. Oh, here we go. There's a nice picture. And the snow from heaven. The, the snow is falling. Now let's go ahead and throw that one in. That's a composition. These were taken back in 2006. This is the first year I purchased my camera, 2006. This is the first year I was taking pictures. You get to see the behind the scenes, like, initial pictures that James ever took. You know, I re oh, where is this? Cathedral State Park. I remember this place. I remember this place. Let's go in more detail. Let's go into this folder. And, aha, I remember taking these pictures. Okay, so it's the rain. This is sunlight hitting wet leaves. I remember it being a very beautiful day. Now they have to be horizontal. Here's some moss. Here we go. 
As the rain falls from heaven. Here we go. I remember taking this picture at this location. I, I'm going to throw this into the collection, and we'll, we'll pull up a high-resolution version of it later. I, I, I like that. So I think we're good with finding some pictures that we can work with. Now let's go to our quick collection, uh, take a look. Okay, we can turn off all our metadata. All right, so here are the pictures. Here are the pictures that I found. Uh, now I want to edit them. Now I can't edit a picture if it's not connected to my computer, so I'm going to have to go find my hard drive and plug that in. I keep them in the safe for safekeeping. So now let's get this thing all plugged in, in there. <gasps> It just dropped. Uh, I got it. It's supposed to turn on. Ah, <gasps> there's a switch. Ah, <gasps> it turned on. So now I can edit these pictures. Look at all those. Spots. That's crazy. I took this picture whenever we were on a family vacation to Colorado. So this is looking into the foothills of the Rockies from a beautiful overlook in right in downtown Denver. I think I'll open it up in Photoshop and get rid of these lines. And it needs to be at least 3,000 pixels, right? I forgot. Did I shoot this at large size? Default information. It's I, I shot this picture at three thousand five hundred pixels. I was like medium raw or something like that. Or yikes, this is barely large enough. Okay, so that looks much better. Okay, so we're gonna save that before, after. There we go. Okay. I think we've got our first picture already now. Let's move on to the second picture. This shot right here is a nice one for snow. The problem is a smudge right there in the middle. Like, like is there, maybe there's a snowflake like right in front of the lens or maybe a drop of water on the, on the lens itself. I'm gonna try and fix that by creating a radial filter here and just increasing the contrast. And I'll go ahead and give that one a five star because I think we're gonna we're gonna use that. This doesn't look like watering. This picture does look like water though. I like how you can see the drop of water against the bright background. Okay, so something like that. It's worth a try. I'm gonna give that one a five star. That'll be the third picture. And here's as the heavens above the earth, as the heaven, as the heavens are higher than the earth. It does have a, a very nice heavens higher than the earth feel to it. And let's really see if we can't get this sky to pop. So I like that one. Let's give that one a five. So here we have our four submissions. Now it's your turn to go shoot this photo assignment. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to ask in the comments below to help Lenspiration videos to be better in the future. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe by clicking on my face. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned a lot. Keep learning with Lenspiration, and we'll see you next time.